All right, I just finished a quad gantry level uh, on my Voron 2.4 over here with uh, the fancy RGB LEDs because I, of course, you have four belts here and independent Z motors for each of these belts. So you have to do a quad gantry level. So it measures each of the corners, checks the differential between them and adjusts accordingly. I ran a bed mesh without doing that and let me show you how terrible it was 1.7 millimeters and the bed is like Wah! so yeah I, I forgot to run the quad gantry level and uh, that's the result of it so i'm going to recalibrate this now and uh oh this cartographer it's so slick because it's like it's just using eddy currents and it's just like skimming over the bed so fast and it, uh, this one, it goes, it does a pass back and then it does a pass forward. And it's, it's faster than my bamboo. It's faster than like this one because I use the clicky probe here. I really like this little probe. It's such a cool design because it like docks it. it it's really cool. It's all magnetic. Um, that one, I actually don't have to do anything with that one because it's such a small bed that I don't even worry about the, uh, the Z there, I just pretty much set a Z offset and adjust the screws accordingly at the different corners. Okay, it's almost done. Let's see how much better this is now. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta reboot it. Reboot! Okay. Well, let's see how much better this bed mesh is now. I do have to do a homing routine first, just to, because you gotta home it first before you can activate your bed mesh. I mean, I don't know if you 100% have to, but I always do home it before I activate my bed mesh. Okay, there we go. Homed. Now, let us check. Oh, that is so much better. Point 0.1. Point 0.1. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. There's still a little bit of oddities at the corners, but hey, point 0.1 millimeters, like, pfft, that is... That is fantastic. I'm pretty satisfied with that. That's a 300 by 300 bed. Absolutely fantastic. Good stuff, Voron, good stuff.